Let's discuss now the notion of short run competition in a perfectly competitive market. So again, we'll do this with uh, on this graph with the apples. So suppose we have our demand over here, this uh, this yellow uh, line. We have our set price at five dollars per kilo, and we have our marginal cost. We can see that there's going to be this equilibrium intersection between the marginal cost and the price because recall that in the perfect market the price equals to marginal cost is going to be our optimal condition because by definition we cannot do better than that. At the same time let's realize one thing that the marginal revenue in the perfect market is also going to be equal to the price and which means that the marginal revenue is equal to the price and the marginal cost. So we're still having that golden rule of marginal revenue, marginal cost, except that the marginal revenue happens to be the price as well. Why is that the case? Well, because the price is fixed at $5, for every additional unit of apples, let's say kilo, kilo of apples that we're selling, we get $5. What's the marginal revenue? Well, the marginal revenue means the change in total revenue by selling one more unit of quantity the change in dollars by selling one more kilo of apples since apples cost five dollars per kilo one more kilo of apples means five more five more dollars in our revenue hope this makes sense now what else matters here it matters to understand the notion of economic profit in the short run and what's going to be the economic profit over here? Well, we can see that that's going to be the difference between the price and the marginal cost. And let's see why that makes sense. Well, have a look over here. The last unit, the last kilo of apple, the sixth kilo of apple costs $5 to produce. We sell it at $5. So that's where we stop. But for the first kilo of apple, for instance, it cost us, it cost us very little to produce, to get it into the market, to harvest it, to transport it. It wasn't that expensive. Let's say it was in the beginning only $2. And then to sell the second kilo of apples, it cost us maybe $3 and so on. But all of those kilos we sold for $5. So the difference between 5 and the 2, 5 and the 3, 5 and the 4 and so on is a profit for us, is our economic profit. So in the short run, we have this pretty good economic profit. And why is that the case? Because by definition, in the short run, there's not many competitors. So the price on the market is still quite high in the beginning. Because of that, we are able to charge a solid markup to have, you know, high profits. And let's write our equation again for the economic profits to understand what that means. Since we have economic profit equals to the difference between accounting profit and opportunity cost and in the short run economic profit is positive that just proves the point that in the short run the accounting profit the accounting profit is greater than the opportunity cost and if we want to make it a bit more realistic a bit more practical all we're saying is that the business profit or just saying the profit from selling apples is greater than the opportunity cost, let's say, which would be bananas, like we mentioned in the previous video. So that would be better than the profit from selling bananas. Meaning that right now, we are better off selling apples than selling bananas. And what would happen is that the guys from bananas will realize, since apples are more profitable because we see those guys making more money, why don't we switch there as well? And then what happens? The law of supply and demand happens. Quantity goes, quantity supply goes up, the price would be dragged down and when the price drags down what happens to this economic profit what happens to this region over here it becomes smaller it shrinks so by definition in the long run the economic profit will decrease and it will eventually get down to zero which we're going to discuss in the next video hope this makes sense and we are done